This is my 2015 BMW M235i. I bought this car earlier this week and I'm gonna share with you my first drive on camera showing you guys pretty much all the cool stuff about this car and the reason why I got this car. We're gonna be taking this bad boy on a few country roads to show you exactly how this thing handles compared to my Corsa. So without further ado, I say let's get straight into showing you guys the first drive. All right, so it is the first drive, pretty much. Technically we drove on the last video. It's the first like proper drive. I've now had the car for five days. It's not been a lot. This first proper drive where I can just sit here and talk to you guys. First off, I just want to say guys, this car is the nuts. I love it. Obviously, since I came from a Corsa, it's very everything's very fast. I'll be honest, I haven't taken out of traction control yet. I'm trying to be a little bit sensible. And so you might not see me take out of traction for a little bit. Okay, so I thought I would just take it on a little drive with you guys. Um, because, and the reason also is because it is such a nice day out that I thought it would be rude not to. Uh, it's like probably the nicest day we've had all year. So I thought, new car, nicest day. Let's take it down on some roads that I'm familiar with in the Corsa. But it's still, it's a completely different ball game. I just want to say quickly, I'm recording this a day after I uploaded the reveal video. Oh my God, you guys, the support is insane. On my Instagram and everything, uh, my Instagram's on screen, but message me on Instagram uh, if you need anything, uh, like you want any help, you just want to chat, because I'm always open. And the amount of messages I'm getting on Instagram, people liking the car, you guys don't understand how much that means to me. Anyway, let's whack it in sport. Not putting in sports plus yet because that's traction. We're in manual mode. I'm gonna put the windows down. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna downshift. I'm gonna downshift again to second. <laughs> oh, that was half throttle. Downshifted to second again. Jesus Christ. Said there. Ah, it's on a the roller coaster. What the? I don't know if any of you have ever driven a fast car. But I'm telling you, it's like you're on a roller coaster <laughs> that you can control. Let's go. Let's go. Open road. I'm gonna downshift. Ah! <laughs> this is sick. What the? <laughs> oh my. Went to Mexico for that clip. Mate, you gave me a little thumbs up on the bike. Big up. Big up cyclist. He likes the whip. He might just be calling me a C-U-N-T, but you never know. Boys, with the windows down, actually, yeah. With the windows down, when you're sending it, it is fully like being on a roller coaster. Am I in sport? No, I wasn't even in sport! What, what the f***? <laughs> that was downshifting to first accidentally, chat. <clears throat> My bad. Still getting used to the paddles and an automatic as well. It's so much fun. I was a bit worried that if I downshifted too much, it would just like go past the red line. But it doesn't. It will still log it, but it won't downshift until you actually can downshift. Um, which is really cool. I was a bit worried that I might just the, the gearbox just like that um, but don't worry I've done it I've accidentally done it plenty of times now chilling at fifth at 30 miles an hour it's just amazing say so thank you oh yeah sport wearing the gearbox around town is maybe not it let's uh let's get rid of sport let's get rid of manual shifting but in eco have a nice relaxed little drive around the town valves closed a funny story so I wasn't sure if this car was valved and uh, the way I was sure was because um, I had an engine light come up 
I shat myself. I've never had an engine light before. In the Corsa, it ran like fine as dandy. I shat myself, I thought, this was, bearing in mind, a few days after I just bought it, I thought, what have I bought? Oh no. Uh, turns out, some guy has removed, unplugged the valve, so it stays open. The reason why the engine light came up, because you might think, and that shouldn't cause it, is because, basically, I believe the cat wasn't, that didn't get warmed enough. Uh, this is what the mechanic told me, the, mecha the cat didn't get warmed enough. So now I plugged it in, the cat, and it basically was starting to clog up a little bit. Um, so now I plugged it in, um, should be good, should be good to go. We're gonna put it in sports mode, just hit that. Uh, we're gonna put it in manual shifting. Oh, no, this car's making a little bit of room, right? Manual downshift to second. Let me know what you guys think of my decision not to take it out of traction mode because I'm a little bit nervous about it and I'm sure as soon as I do I'm going to be feeling the power Jesus Christ Little Corsa gang Bigger things now I think it doesn't even need to drop a gear to make it full fast By the way, I haven't used full throttle once I've used a lot of petrol yeah, this, when I put it in sport and I give it a drive, it fair to say it drinks. Um, oh, can drive home in silence after that one. I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to tell you why I ended up buying an M235i. Um, because it's a funny story, really, and it and it was never the plan. I was look started looking for a new car in about December, so I was checking, and I actually found that a Mini Cooper S was really, really, really good in insurance. And then, basically, I kind of went off of them after that. I kind of went off of them. So then I was a bit stumped because I didn't know what to get and I was looking around and I did insurance quote on a Porsche Boxster S. The reason, uh, no, on a Porsche Boxster, not an S. The reason why I tried that is because my dad used to have a Boxster S uh, 986. I really liked it. And I always said I wanted a 987. Uh, or a 986 and then I wanted and then I looked at the 987s which is just a little bit newer a little bit more refined and let me tell you I was sold on that for so long I went to go see one and it, had, it came like 245 horsepower rear wheel drive mid-engine it was really really cool I think the thing that put me off most was just how old the car was um, and also there's nothing you can do to them there really isn't much. I am going to get a Boxster one day, I'm sure of it. I love them, they're so cool. Maybe even as a second car to this. And then I was looking around, did insurance quotes on a 220i, because I love the 2 Series. And I, the reason why I like the 2 Series, I didn't even consider it like a, few, like a while ago, but it was actually Michael, the other stuff. He bought his 240i last year, and ever since then I was just like, oh my god. 2 Series are actually nice, but, the insurance was so much more expensive than um, the, for a 220i because I didn't want a 218 because it was a three cylinder, wasn't really a big enough increase in horsepower um, that I wanted. But you know, the 220s were, it was the same engine. If I got a newer version of them, it was going to be the same engine as the Cooper S. So I was just like, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, I, get a, I get a car that I prefer the look of, I get the same engine. Uh, I was, I was going to go for an automatic on that. I thought, to me, it's the best of both worlds. I'm just gonna shell out that little bit, that extra insurance, um, and do it. Uh, until I started looking round at them. I felt the back end go. <laughs> that made me a little bit scared. My eyes started watering. I mean, I'm only in comfort, but I, I did kind of send it a little bit around there. Um, then I did an insurance quote on a 235. It was cheaper insurance, a little bit more tax. I mean, uh, 100 and, uh, 150 horsepower increase as well. They're, it's in my budget. They, they're all been looked after pretty much. All of them we saw in a full service history. Why don't I just get that? 
I mean, the only thing I was a bit put off about is the actual speed of this thing. So that is pretty much the story on why I bought a 235i. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see all your lovely faces in another video. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys.